Hello, this is Eric with Cisco Tech. In this video, I'll be presenting how to perform a packet capture for Cisco Unified SIP Proxy, which we commonly refer to as CUSP. For this video, we'll be doing this inside the GUI so you can then share these with your Cisco Tech engineer. Once you've logged into CUSP, navigate to the Troubleshoot section. Under this section, click on the Traces tab under the Cisco Unified SIP Proxy subsection. You'll see at the top of this page where it says Packet Capture. But before we get started on creating it, there are a few limitations that you do need to be aware of. First, packet capture on CUSP is limited to only 40 megabytes of data. This means we will not be able to capture for an extended length of time. It's usually best to start this capture right before placing a test call and end it immediately after. Second, if you stop an already running packet capture, then you press start to gather an additional one that will override the previous capture. So don't forget to download the existing capture before doing so. To get started, go ahead and check the box labeled Packet Capture, then press the Start button. Upon starting the capture, you will see this warning message. Don't be alarmed by this, it says just a precaution that creating a packet capture will affect the CPU performance. This is only a minimal amount though, and unless you have thousands of calls happening, then you should be safe to go ahead and create a capture for recreate. Some customers this will be best to do during a maintenance window in order to avoid any possible downtime. If you do have any suspicion that this could affect your system and have additional questions, it's best to coordinate with your tech engineer just to be on the safe side. Once you click OK, the capture has started. Let this run until the desired time is over and press the Stop button. After clicking Stop, you will see the warning message appear stating that an existing packet capture will be deleted and overwritten if you start a new one, so please make sure you download before proceeding. To access this capture, you will need FTP into your CUSP server. You will then proceed to the CUSP folder and likely prompt it for authentication if not already done so. Go ahead and enter your username and password that you normally use to log into CUSP. Once inside the CUSP folder, proceed to the log folder and now to the packet capture folder. Inside this folder is where you will find the packet capture. You can see this by the last modified date and time is the best way to see if your packet capture was completed. I hope this video has been useful and thank you for watching.